Rachel back with another video here on Live Study Hacks. And today we're going to talk about self awareness and the importance of looking into oneself and identifying who you are on the inside. Ultimately, it all comes down to having that self confidence and love that we all need. It includes realizing your blind spots, fixing them, and really understanding who we are. I think that this is a very important topic for everyone, especially middle and high school students, especially right now. Like, because, especially like for me, I, at one point, like life becomes a routine and we go by each day really not understanding the purpose of life and just going to study or maybe it's work. And I, being more self-aware allows you to kind of take that step back and have that daily self-reflection so you live with a goal and move forward based on your based on failures or the self-doubts that you may have finding the true meaning of life and just understanding the emotions can really make you feel psychologically well and confident so in today's video i'm going to share with you some tips and in a plan where you can feel better about yourself and take that step back no matter the painful and difficult times that we all are facing in any given situation. But before we start this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. So I think it's very valuable to first look at what self-awareness is and its, important, its importance in life. Self-awareness is often correlated with me metacognition, and metacognition is you simply being more self-aware and evaluating your thoughts and understanding yourself better. It's realizing that you have things to work on, whether it may be the insecurities that you do not want to address. You have to ask yourself these tough and vulnerable, um, these tough and hard and challenging questions. Further putting yourself in the shoes of others and understanding how other people might view you is important to really being self-aware so that you can fix yourself and not get too consumed in it. Like that balance of fixing yourself and not getting too consumed on what other people think of you is so vital in improving yourself and becoming um, that person and knowing your impact in the world and your surroundings. This may evolve surrounding yourself with people who can give you brutal and honest feedback. And it can be part of that road of path evaluating this feedback that they give you so, so that you can process your story, your life story, and improve. While taking in the feedback, you should do some introspective practice, including meditation or prayer. This time of reflection is important for you to move forward and go on in life. The next tip is probably the most important, and it is to put your ego aside. Ego is one of the things that many people do not like to recognize, and it can make and break relationship, relationships. Ego often is rooted in instances of making people defensive when one, question, when one questions their belief. It also tends to make, make excuses for failures, and, people, and these type of people like to blame other things on other people when things go wrong in their life. The idea of you being the, on the top of the world is what you need to be self-aware aware about if people are trying to tell you that you have a lot of ego. The way to fix this is to simply be more empathetic in these situations. This may sound super difficult, but you should be willing to sit with the person and try to understand their feelings and be open to new ideas. It makes you, be, it makes you become more compassionate and humble, which is a quality that many people want more of. Your inner moral compass can be pulled off by your bad values such as ego. You must understand these sort of things and these cases and it's important to recognize it and stay on course. With ego and emotions, it is important in the midst of everything to be both courageous and learn from failures. It's, it is like a key um, to learn from it. It's really like a key to learn from your failures and celebrate them. We all have failed at something that you begin to realize and see the ability to connect the dots and learn from these from these moments of 
these like hor like these disappointing moments. And but you have to test. You must test the limits of your courage and listen to those gut feelings. You do. You doing this shows that you have a high emotional intelligence that is linked to self awareness. And even with adversity, you you standing up for what you believe in shows that you have a strong moral. You have strong moral values despite difficult circumstances that may test your beliefs. I think it's important that you explain the reasons for your actions and embrace your weaknesses, but do not lose sight of your realistic goals despite the failures. Remember yourself that it's about remember that it's about you, and and this and this failure is only going to make you stronger. Um, my favorite song by Kelly Clarkson is "What Kills You Makes You Stronger," and so practice patience. That life is going to have its bumps and curves, and your growth mindset and your decision to avoid making impulsive choices might seem hard, but it will definitely definitely help you in the long run. All in all, someone who we all strive to be is someone who is self-aware, someone who talks and tries to understand themselves. You listen to others and are compassionate. You can try to um, you can try to implement some mindfulness activities to help you you know have that more peaceful state of mind. But this but there's this another interesting activity that you can try with your friends and family to develop your ability to have. More self awareness, and this activity is called the Johari Window. You have four panels, and、um, the first panel is an area where things that you know about yourself,、um, things that you kind of know about yourself, you need to improve on. And and then the second one is facets that are facets, things that you don't know about yourself. And then the third one are blind spots known to others but not known to self. And the unknown, which is not known to yourself and others, and you can have these discussions with your family to kind of fill out these panels to understand who you are as a person, and and what you and your family do can also have is a list of adjectives and sort them out in these kind in these windows, and you can see how other people view you and how you view yourself. Well, that is the end of this video, and I hope that you guys enjoyed a. Few tips on how we all can be more open-minded and self-aware, and further apply in in all of our lives. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the to this channel to support the charity of incarcer、uh, the children of incarcerated parents. Bye everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.